Hello boys and welcome back to the bizarre adventure of Zaid the Crime Lord. Thank you guys so much for the support that you've showed for episode 1. Keep crushing it with the likes and the comments and I'm gonna keep bringing you more of Zaid. Also, for those of you who didn't get a notification, I'm back to making Crusader Kings content along with my good friend Koi Fish after a very long hiatus. I just released an episode two days ago, so if you want to check that out, go ahead. So where we last left off, Zaid has been doing uh, missions for the local crime lord, trying to build up the network of the people that he knows, trying to get some recognition in the criminal underworld. And off camera, I've been doing some work with the local desert bandits and I've gotten their strength up to 961. Now we want their strength at a thousand so they, they allow us to build a safe house in their hideout and we can operate and do a lot of stuff out of that safe house and i do believe we need just a few more either prisoners or like a cool item to give them or something like that and boom we got them uh, over a thousand and then we can build that safe house get some uh, passive income don't ask me about the details but we're, it's gonna involve some involuntary work of some blandian uh, villagers so without further ado Let's get to work. Ah, oh, but I am gonna have to pay for those drinks and that soup I had earlier, so... How do I get out of here without paying? Ah, oh, fuck, I'm gonna start some trouble. Hey, you, I don't like your face and you'd better get out of my way. How do you think you are? I'm Zaid the Jackal. Boom! Right hook, left hook, baby. And we gained the level from whooping that townsman is ass. <laughs> Let's get straight into it and head to Vlandia and grab some villagers from there, all right? 31 villagers. Oh my. Greetings, my lord. How many times do I have to tell you I am not a lord? In any case, I'm taking everything you guys have. They do be having a lot of people, though, with sight, so <laughs> I hope this doesn't turn out badly. <laughs> any second now, archers. They're almost there. Cavalry, All right. Cavalry, stop. break their ranks and then infantry. You charge as well. Let's go. Boom. Oh, shit. They actually took out our infantry. They won't take me out, though. They'll find that I'm a very formidable foe. Oh, really? Here, you take this. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. That guy just hoed me up. What the fuck? Are we losing to Vlandian villagers? That's embarrassing, bro. Alright, Zaid might have overestimated his battle prowess, but uh, the boys thankfully cleaned it up, alright? Four people, that's all. Damn. 26 villagers. Can we take them? Oh, with 20 people? I don't know. I don't know. What are you talking about? Of course we can. What if I just send my troops at them? Maybe that way we get more prisoners too anyway. So yeah, send troops. Victory and we captured eight people. All right, I'm never fighting my own battles again. All right, here we are. Let's uh, make sure that we give them just enough. You see that 956? We want to give them just enough to get them over a thousand because I want to keep the rest over a thousand. Let's go. So here is our great supporter. What can I do for you, Zaid? You know it, baby. Well, quite simple. I need a safe and discreet place for me and my men. I say good for you. We have plenty of space around. Just check by yourself and find what fit you the best. That's all I wanted to hear. Sheesh, we've got ourselves an operating hideout now. Enslave, all right, let's enslave. Serving or mining? Let's get an even split between serving and mining. 85 profit per day, god damn, all right. And let's put some lads in there. I have some recruits here. Let's put in five recruits. Zero to five people will be wounded per day. And uh, since we have people serving, zero to one healed per day. So that's what, 90 profit a day? That's pretty fucking good. Imagine if we have like a lot of uh, involuntary workers working for us. God damn. You know what? I want more people. I want more people. I go get more people. Let's get those pockets filled up. 10 troops. Boom. Nine captured. Let's go. I think that if we just let everyone guard so that no one escapes and then put no one on serving, we can maximize our profits to 455 per day. But deaths per day are going from 0 to 10. Mm, fuck it. Overwork them to death, boys. They're just Vlandian villagers anyway. They're not real people. 
What the fuck are villagers of Garontor doing all the way out here? Where's Garontor anyway? What the fuck? They're like begging to go put into the mines. Oh well, I don't have time for them. Hello there, Zandina. Did you miss me? I heard you got a robbery mission for me. Iron Skull Zandina has a friend in Ortesia that needs some support. Go there and check in the tavern district to meet your contact. All right, I'm here. Let's see. Where's that friend of yours? There it is. Contact. Meet your contact. Your contact gave you a peasant outfit. You will pretend uh, to be delivering food in the, to the kitchen and sneak in the keep. Apparently, some guards were spotted in the Lord's Hall. Your contact pretends to be able to create a diversion and make the place clear for 3,000 dinars to pay now. Are you crazy? Are you out of your fucking mind? They even says your contact pretends to be able, implying that they can't actually. I am not forking over 3,000 dinars for a diversion. Also, what the fuck? We're robbing the Lord's Hall. God damn. You reached the Lord's Hall, but as expected, the place is not empty. Let's fight. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, 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 wait. It's a 2v1? It's a 2v1 and I have a fucking hammer? A wooden hammer? Bro, hold up. Hold up. Call the police. Maybe I should have forked over the uh, 3,000. All right. We got ourselves in this situation though. We're gonna we're gonna get out of this. Just believe, alright boys? Believe, 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 believe. Strategize. If I beat the guy without a shield, I can take his sword and fight the shield guy. Alright, there we go. He's in front. Oh my god, I ate that right in the face. I ate that right in the face. Winnable though, winnable, winnable, winnable. Alright, come on. Alright, he's after us, he's after us. Let's see here. All right, now we run. Boom. All right. Nice, nice, nice. We do that again. All right, one more time. Boom. I'm pretty sure one more hit and he's down. One more hit and he's down. All right, do it properly, properly, properly. All right, all right, all right, all right. He's following, he's following. Here he comes. Boom. Ah, oh, fuck. One more, one more. Ooh, that was close. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> No! Oh, I almost got stabbed in the back. Fuck, I'm on the edge of my seat right now. <laughs> Get him just like that. And now we do another spin. Come for his sword. Where's the sword? There it is. So he's not right on me. He is. I hear him. Yeah, there he is. All right, let's fight him in the middle. Come on, then. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, get outplayed! Get fucking outplayed! The place seems clear, you start to check for some loot, great. You found two chests, a small one apparently containing some dinars and a bigger one containing some stuff. You have time to lockpick only one. Let's go for the big one, take a souvenir with us home, right? I receive a thousand dinars. Oh my god, look at all this good fucking loot! Bruh, this helmet's for fucking nerds. Nah, I'm selling that. That's a nice fucking sword, though. And it's taken from a nobleman. I love it. And we'll take that lance as well. Very nice. And we'll sell everything else. Sell the helmet. Sell the battle axe. Sell the bastard sword. I'll hold on to the knife. It has sentimental value. I wonder what this reveal your good fortune option does. One attempt for 10 points. Two attempts for 20 points. Three attempts for 3 points. Let's go for two attempts. Oh. My. God. I gambled 20 of my villainy points for armor that is fucking golden zade the golden jackal all right you're all expecting me to say this and i'm about to say it so what the fuck dude i am dripping so hard right now oh my god fucking check me out baby what the fuck it looks so beautiful my god well, I'm really glad I went for that. Hell yeah. While I'm waiting for more HP, let's go and do some trading like we always do. Rip off some people, scam some uh, villagers on the way. Holy fuck, a desert horse for 169? I think that's super cheap. What the fuck? Take them all. More desert horses for the same price. I think desert horses, if I remember correctly, are worth like double that. Oh, hell yeah. It sells for like... 252 that's a hundred dinar profit like straight off the bat and if we go even more north look it sells for 278 and there's a tournament too why the fuck not let's live a little bit there's a film for a prize i don't really care about the prize i just want to have some fun and make some money in the process <laughs> i just killed that guy by throwing shit at him 
I right, stop, stop, stop trying to hit those people. Boom! Sit the fuck down. Sit the fuck down. Sit the fuck down. <laughs> yeah! Oh my god, look at that bloody face. Look at the drip though. Oh my god. I'm showing these Imperials what true fashion looks like. But at least I look good. Hey, one of our Asurai boys won the tournament anyway. Let's go. Here he is, the tournament winner himself. I have a gift from the heavens, perhaps, or perhaps from somewhere else. I have never met anyone I could not kill in a fair fight. <laughs> Bruh, that explains how you won that tournament. You know what? I could use a guy like this in my company. 543? Fuck it. Welcome, my countrymen. Holy shit, I just realized. Go to your camp, food stock sabotage, sap the wall, poison the water, send raiders. What the fuck? Did we just level up our banditry by uh, getting that safe house? All right, we're back home. I'm back in top shape, so let's go do some jobs, build up our relationship with Zandina to unlock the next job, which is insurance scam. Let's do force tribute. A group of mercenaries. Let's attack. Billy the swordsman instead of one of the master thugs. Sure, let's let's try him. Oh, we can have five people. All right, let's go. All right, tournament winner. Show me what you're made of. There you go. I took one out. All right, let's go. boys let's go <laughs> he actually got two people and i got the other two let's go 18 relationship we can now do the insurance scam iron skulls on dina invested in a caravan of lakem this guy and it makes no profit thankfully there is an insurance contract running but the caravan needs to accidentally disappear before receiving any indemnity zandina requested you to escort the caravan a bandit party has been hired to attack and destroy it once the dirty job is done Attack the bandit party to remove any suspicion. But then who's gonna remove us to remove any suspicion? I ah, don't worry about it. I'm gonna bolster our troops a little bit with these two mercenary cavalry boys. Because I have a feeling this next mission is gonna be a tough fight. Yo, where are the fucking bandits? Ah, there we go. Gonna make sure to not let any bandits escape. Of course. Yeah, what do you want with us? We just want you to be found dead by suicide with two arrows in the back of your head. All right, here we go. There they are. Here we are. I think I'm just gonna send the cavalry at them. Go for it, boys. We'll stay here and protect that one archer. Let's get this lance out. This is the lance I stole from the from that one palace. Get that guy. Get that. Get him. Got him. <laughs> you're good. You're good. You're good, light archer. Keep going. With, keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> I was using that. I was using that as cover, Archer. Why'd you shoot the horse? It's just that guy left. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. He got him. Here he comes. Here he comes. What are you a fucking Kuzate, man? Just stop moving already. Oh, he's out of arrows. He's out of arrows. Oh, he's fucked. He's fucked. Get him, boys. Job well done, boys. Pack it up. Let's go home. Last episode, people were very happy when I dropped some SRI exclusive knowledge uh, on them. What the fuck? We took Odoh. It's right too strong. They're taking over the Kuzay. Hell yeah. So I've uh, chosen to give you guys some more insight into the world of the SRI. Today's topic, what do the SRI names mean in Arabic? To put it simply, they don't mean shit. All of these are Arab sounding, but none of them make sense. Kuyaz means nothing. Sanala means nothing. Askar can mean soldiers. Kasira means short. As in short female. Yakis means nothing. Hubiar means nothing. Razih means nothing. Fusun folk. Well, the first part means something good, but then folk. I don't know, means fucking nothing. So yeah, that was this episode segment of the SRI Cultural Enrichment Program. Alright, Zandina, what's the next job, baby? Oh, after this one gang trial, I can literally take her over on the next job. You discussed with local gang leader Iron Skull Zandina and both estimated a possible gain of 15,000 dinars. The attack is planned for tonight. Let's do it. Iron Skull Zandina ordered some thugs to back you up and told you that if you needed more support, you have to pay now 5,000 dinars. In case you forgot, the estimation was 15,000 dinars. Hmm. 
What do I go for here? Nah, I'm good. I believe in myself. All right, here we go. I went and got me some javelins. They might be useful here. Fuck it. I'm going to start attacking right now. Oh, too low. I get this guy. Ooh, one shot. <laughs> How many is left? How many are those? I can't tell. All right. Let's go take them for a spin. All right. Oof. One, two, three. All right. If I can get the or four. Go give them a spin. Oof. Come on. That guy's dead. And this guy's dead too. Alright, how many left? There's one right there and then there's a second behind him. Oof. All right, how many are left? One guy that I can see. Let's not choke here. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, I got him. Is that it? Is that it? Oh! Ooh, ooh. <laughs> they does it again, boys. They does it again. I killed eight people. Oh my god. Grab the money. Boom! 15,000 dinars. Well earned. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I did not expect to make that. Oh my god. The throne javelins came in really clutch because we took out like two people in the start there. And then the fact that they did not all, like some of them stayed occupied in the back with the uh, other bandits while I killed like two at a time. Oof. Everything played out in our favor. That was so lucky. And with that, we made our way to the gang trial where we're going to basically take over the criminal underworld of the city of Kuyaz. We need nine more relation in order to do that. And I do need to let my wounds heal. So off camera, I'm going to grind the last of the relationship that we need. And in the next episode, Zaid takes over. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed as much as I enjoyed making it. Again, don't forget to check out the CK3 video I did with Koi Fish. It was a lot of fun and I'm pretty sure you're gonna enjoy it. And yeah, don't forget to leave a like and a comment to help out the series. There's a Skyrim series coming next week that you guys are going to really enjoy and I'm so pumped to bring it to you guys. Keep helping the videos reach out to more people and I'll see you guys in the next one. Much love. Bye bye.